The announcement came on Saturday night. The Dallas Cowboys were being sold for an estimated $140 million, and with the new owner was coming a new head coach. Well, that means the end of the trail for the man who for three turbulent decades shaped what came to be called America's team. Bob McNamara tonight looks at the legacy of a legend. He was back in the saddle again. Tom Landry, back with the Cowboys this morning, only this time for goodbyes. A player minicamp went as scheduled. Life after Landry would go on. No, I'm not better. I, I, you know, that's just my nature is not to be better. This is KLIF. Let's go to Phil in North Dallas. But even today in Dallas, Landry's Saturday firing was still topic one. 30 years here. I mean, my God. Uh, he took this club from nowhere to two consecutive decades of winning. There's never been a streak like that in the National Football League before. Old cowboys were at a loss, uh, too. He's an institution. He's a legend. And I just think that it should have been handled differently. It hasn't sunk in yet. It's going to be a long time before it does. If my voice cracks, uh, this is Christmas to me. It was Arkansas oil man Jerry Jones who bought the Cowboys from financially strapped bum Bright. And with Jones comes old college teammate Jimmy Johnson, the University of Miami coach to succeed Landry. Hairspray and histrionics replacing the hat on the Cowboys' sidelines. I think right now they could have done it a lot better, you know, obviously, but, you know, they were excited. Well, I'm sure that he feels now that uh, all those cold times that when he released players or when there wasn't very much communication between management and players, uh, I'm sure that he now feels what it's like. For as long as they've been the Cowboys, Tom Landry was coach. Well, the Cowboys need a miracle. Roger takes the snap, pumps it once. And though his team grew to glamour as the model for all NFL franchises, Harrison makes the catch at the five, touchdown! Landry teams of late stumbled through three losing seasons, and fans soured and snored. And when it's all over with, you know, the things you're going to remember are not the Super Bowls. You know, you're going to remember the, the players. You're going to remember the situations that you went through. Landry left his team where he got them, at the bottom of the standings. Still, there's a campaign now to name Texas Stadium after the man who once packed it. Bob McNamara, CBS News, Dallas. And that's the news. I'm Bob Schieffer. Dan Rather will be back here at the home base tomorrow. I'm Harry Smith. And I'm Kathleen Sullivan. Tomorrow, Billy Packer and Brett Musburger talk college basketball. Also, Connie Selica joins us on CBS This Morning. This is CBS.